Hey guys, um, welcome back to another video. So, I've kind of been doing this series lately <laughs> where I'm uploading videos about like book series that I tend to read. Now, I'm sure some of you would cringe at my reading choice, especially people who probably randomly find these videos on their feed. Um, cringe at my book selection but i'll say to you that these are only f these books i read for leisurely purposes okay i like a lot of other books that are non-fiction you know i don't just read these okay i like diary of wimpy kid amulet and dog man and today's book is about dog man because um that's another popular series. Yeah. I just long pause there. Um, so today we're actually discussing something very good. But not, I just have the 10th book here, the latest one. Right? 10th book. Woohoo. Uh, I'm just thinking, bro. Yeah, today I had a tiring day. I'm thinking about a lot of things right now. I'm sorry, guys. Long pauses will be there if I start to doze off practically. Anyway, so Dogman 11 is confirmed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So cool, bro. Uh, so Dogman 10 Mothering Heights came out in, like, 2021 or 2020, like, a long time ago, bro. Like, yeah, I'm so, like, hyper right now, I don't know, at this point. Uh, anyway. Yeah, Dogman 11 is confirmed. So, Mother of Guides, like, came out a very, very long time ago, as I've already said. Um, and every time I looked up Dogman 11, because I do that when I'm bored, <laughs> um, it never seemed to show it up, show up, but it's like, the thing is, there's been a recurring theme in these Dogman books. So I'm going to show you this right now uh, out of my Dogman book collection. I have all of them, bro. So this one's called Mothering Heights. And ever since book three, Dave Pilkey, who's also the author of Captain Underpants, uh, all of the titles of his Dogman books have actually been parody titles. And the stories have parodied titles of actual famous classic books. So the first here uh, for... Dogman 10, we have Mothering Heights. And the original book this is based off of is Weathering Heights. And this book has a theme about motherhood and, you know, how people should love or how children are affected when, you know, they don't have a mother. It's very, it's a very touching story, actually, in a child form. But Dave Pilkey actually captures it so well. This type of children's book would be perfect for a five-year-old. I mean, even psychologically, like this book is in a way is it's, it's its own masterpiece. You may not like it when you're 13, but for a kid, it does have a very, very good message and it delivers it perfectly. So that's the, um, 10th book. It's a very good book actually. Oh, sorry. Uh, now let's discuss the ninth book here. Uh, it's called Grime and Punishment. I'm going to go backwards in order. Uh, so the original book is called Crime and Punishment. I think it's pretty obvious because, you know, grime, crime. Uh, not very original titles anyway. It's a parody. Um, so I'm just pointing it out. Uh, Dogman 8 is called Fetch 22. Original book is called Catch 22. I think it was about a World War II story or something. Um, I'm not totally sure. I, I think I'll just ask my dad on that because he does know a lot about classic books. Uh, my dad's really into literature and stuff, so I guess. I don't know. Uh, check out his channel. He does have a channel. It's called Poster Fix. Um, <laughs> it's so random if you see that. Uh, anyway, the seventh book's called From Whom the Balls Roll. Uh, I think it's... So, Ernest Hemingway made a book called Whom the Bell Tolls. I think that's what it's based off of. But, yeah, we have this one. And then we have, uh, oh, number six and number five are not in order. Better put that in that place. So what's funny is number five, five, six, and seven came out, like, really close to each other. So number six here is called Brawl of the Wild. 
and originally the, the original like classic book was called Call of the Wild. Um, I'm just going through the list here. So the fifth one is called Lord of the Fleas. And it's funny because I've actually read Lord of the Flies, which is the book it's based off of. Lord of the Flies is pretty good. Um, I would say it's a very surreal book, but it's also very true to some things. And I'm sure when if you're watching this video, you should read Lord of the Flies, the actual uh, book of this. From for Dogman and Cat Kid, the title is not necessarily based off of a book, but the story is. Uh, I think it's called East of Eden or something. A book called Eden something. Uh, actually, we can look on the first pages. Uh, sorry, here my camera will uh, pan somewhat as I find this. Oh yeah, it's called East of Eden. Yep, I was right. So, yeah, we have East of Eden, uh, sorry, East of Eden base. I don't really know what that story is about. I should start reading some of these classics. And we have A Tale of Two Kitties based on the book called A Tale of Two Cities. And A Tale of Two Cities is a very important book in classic literature. Um, I've heard about it. I've never read it. I should read it eventually. I will probably read it eventually. Um, that's very good. It's very good to understand this. Now, for obviously, Dogman 1 and 2. He didn't make that trend of parodying books, but all these Dogman books are actually very important for kids because the way they parody these classic books is something that kids will have to know. It's like it gives them a basic idea of classic literature. Now, obviously, these books barely give an idea, but for kids – these books actually have some messages and they have a mix of humor because they're mostly humorous books for kids that are perfect. The Dogman series is something if you do get kids eventually that you should buy your kid one, you know, if any adults may be watching th this video, um, definitely buy uh, Dogman. Dogman is very good for, you know, kindergartners, first graders, even for kids, people my age, you know, it's, um, uh, very interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, that's Dogman. Dogman is very interesting. Um, reflects a lot of classic literature. So, right now... Oh, let me go back to the Dogman. Sorry. So this is my collection of books. So blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, Dogman 11 is confirmed and it's coming out on March 28th, 2023, which is actually still pretty far away considering like the distance, the longest distance between Dave Pilkey's like book release date thing is from book 10 to 11. Cause I don't think Dave Pilkey was very sure he was going to make a book 11 because book 10 does conclude a lot of things for the, the original main villain PD. So that's kind of what happens, but you know, they're making a book 11, um, I don't, I'm not sure of the title yet. I'll have to look that up on Google or actually I'll look it up right now. Uh, while we're here, I, I can use up like two more minutes. I don't want my phone to.